Hello Rust developers, welcome to the Rust in 5 minutes video series by The Construct, your channel for your written Rust. I'm by the Adrian Riola and in this video we'll be looking at how to use the RQT console for debugging. But before we go into that, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online Rust courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find the link to this academy in the video description. Now let's get started with our work. Um, we just pick one of the courses here um, to have an environment to demonstrate with. So let's go. Okay, done. So we get down to business right away by running the first terminal here. Then in a second console, we run another command. So finally, we run the total sim node. Great. So at this point, we click on this icon to open a graphical interface. And right there in the graphical interface, you can see that we have the total sim screen open with the total there in the middle and then we have two other screen so this one is the RQT console itself so what it shows is the debug information of the nodes that are running and then the third window is where we set the logger level for each of the topics so in this case we refresh because we are interested in the total sim node and here we have it we select total sim so and the default level for total sim here is info so if we come back to the rqt console we see that there's an information here stating that the total sim node has started so and if you look at um, here we see the same message and info message so what we want basically want to see here is that how we can change the logger logger level for this node so that we see some other information so let's go back there for example we are going to change the logger level to debug and we'll see what happens so debug so let's go back to the console oops so much information already come here we have over 800 already and if you come here as well we see that we are being bombarded with a lot of information too much so we are going to go back to the logger level to disable that. We just put back on info and then when we come here, we see that all the messages are so many, but they have stopped coming. So we cleaned up everything. So, but what did this logger level mean? So here, when we set the information, when we set the level as debug, then we can receive all the information on that debug here. So debug is the lowest level. So it means that whatever information, whether it's an error, a feta, a one, or we get all those errors when we are on, or info, when we are on debug. But when we are on info, we get info, one, error, and feta. So for example, if you are on one alone, then we don't get debug and info, but we get one, error, and feta. So before we go, we are quickly going to generate a warning. To do that, we run the teleop keyboard to same tele up and we run the total bot into a wall so don't forget we have our total here so we are going to have it run into a wall very quickly let's check ah so here we have it running to the edge so let's check our information Logger level is on one, so let's check what we have here. Ah, so we have some warning message here. What does this say? So we can even see that from here. Hey, oh no, I hit the wall. Great. And so that was it for this video. Don't forget what the logger level means, and then I hope you find them useful as you push your Ross learning. So, did you like the video? 
If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. You can also leave us your thoughts in the comments area. Peace out. Udabo. Thank you.